Blessings, blessings, blessings. It is I, the heavenly Hebrew himself, Jeba Snikes, J-E-B-U-S-N-I-K-Q-U-E-S. -E -E I come to bring to you a short message on faith in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Mother, the Daughter. All four points on the Christian cross. You dig what I'm saying? So blessings, blessings, blessings to you. And this message is for you to keep your faith. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to jump right into it. Psalms 4010. This is where we're going to jump. Psalms 4010. It says... I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great conversation. <laughs> Christ didn't Christ didn't conceal that. Christ did not conceal. Christ did not conceal his righteousness. He started letting his righteousness reign. Let your righteousness reign. Keep that faith. You got to be a faith keeper. And that's what this lesson is about. You keeping your faith. You keeping your faith, you keeping your spirituality. Don't let nobody knock that away from you. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you know you're in an upright spirit. When you're in a heavenly spirit, when you're in an upright spirit, keep that faith. And that's what you got to do. Keep that faith. Do you understand what I'm saying? Keep that faith. And that's what it's about, being a faith keeper. You understand? When you get that mind, that Christ consciousness come within, there's nothing that can stop you. Nothing that can stop you. You understand that? Don't get me wrong. It's going to be some, some time your feet might get put through the fire. But you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna elevate to that heavenly, that heavenly greatness, and that's what it's about, obtaining that heavenly greatness. Okay, we're gonna go real quick. We're gonna go to the book of John real quick. John seven thirty eight. All right, seven thirty eight. John seven thirty eight. And what? what uh, seven thirty eight. Hold on. John seven thirty eight. Hold on. Let me find it, y'all. Give me a little time. Keep that faith. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. John 7.38. Okay. All right. John 7.38 reads, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out his belly shall flow rivers of the living water. So look, you had to have that faith from your gut. What that verse is saying to me is like, look, let me read that again. Let me read that again. Let me read that again. John 7, 38, and it's saying, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So, you know what I'm saying? That, that gut feeling, you heard about people saying that gut feeling, you got to have that gut feeling because guess what? When you have that gut feeling, when you have that gut feeling, look, 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 you have that gut feeling, feeling, uh, 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 um, You have that gut feeling. Things come out of your belly shall flow like rivers of living water. So it's like flowing. It's like living water. Water is the key and the essence to life. And that's how that faith shall reign upon you. You feel me? That's how your faith will reign upon you. You feel me? That's how your faith will be. Your faith will be. It, it will be to a, to a to a heavenly level. You know what I'm saying? To a heavenly level where no one can pull you down or no one can pull you down. Don't get me wrong. You might have those those off days a little bit, but guess what? With God and with that goddess, you always have that unwavering greatness. You know what I'm saying? You have that greatness within you that cannot be stopped. You understand? It will not be stopped. So keep your faith 